Hi, everybody. I'm Laura Fair. Hi, Laura. I'm Alex. And welcome, everybody, to Rancho San Andres Castro Adobe State Historic Park here in Watsonville. Now, you might not be able to tell just from looking at it, but the Castro Adobe here is a two-story hacienda, 170 years old, and it's made out of mud bricks. That's where we get the word adobe from. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to make an adobe brick just like the Castros and their workers uh, made this place out of. To do that, we've got some dirt dug up from right here on the rancho and a little bit of dried hay, a little dried grass in there that's going to help the bricks set right when they dry. Um, and then we've got a little bit of water here to get the mud consistency just right. Now a lot of people back in the day actually would use animal manure, cow manure, in the bricks as an additional binding agent, but we're not going to do that because we actually have really good soil here at the rancho so we don't need to do that. Um, and then we've got a wood brick here, wood, uh, wood brick frame um, that we're going to actually form the brick into. Um, now over here I have an example of a, a full-sized real Adobe brick, um, and that is um, actually a smaller one. Um, some of the uh, bigger ones in that make up the wall are actually this is a this is a frame for the full size Adobe brick, so they can get quite big. Now our small ones are only going to take you know a day or two to dry, whereas a full size one takes weeks. Um, in fact, we had to do such a project um, when we initially about 10 years ago started rebuilding the Adobe. We found we needed to rebuild uh, and make new Adobe bricks. Over 200 volunteers made over 2,000 adobe bricks, um, some this size, um, filling up our entire parking lot and it took weeks to dry, um, but that's what we needed to really rebuild this in the right true way, uh, true to history. Uh, so um, I'm going to go ahead and now show you how to make an adobe brick in the traditional style. To start our adobe brick, we're going to need not just dirt, but mud. So add a little water there. Now, the best way to know you've got the right consistency is actually to make a good old fashioned mud ball. I don't know if anybody used to do that growing up, throw mud balls. Now we're not going to throw our mud balls, but when that packs together, and you can actually form one. That's when you know you got the right consistency. And use all that. And this is uh, definitely a messy activity. Not for the faint of heart here. Okay, good, there we go. So I got, got a pretty good mud ball forming. Okay, now I'm gonna take my frame. I've got an old piece of wood here and my brick's gonna dry on. Okay, now the best way, especially when you're working with full-sized uh, bigger bricks, is to, to do the corners, put in the corners first. You mash it all kind of in there at once, you don't always get the full, uh, fully into the corner there. So I'm going to take care of that first. All right, and then I'm going to get the rest in there and gonna really compact it down into my frame. Okay, and I got a little extra, so I'll kind of scrape off a little of the extra there. Good, okay. All right, got it about as tight as I can get it. All right, so then I'm going to remove the frame. Carefully peel off a little piece on top and I've got my adobe brick. Now that's going to take a couple days to uh, dry, one day in the sun, turn it over, another day in the sun, um, and then it's good to go. Now in 170 years the adobe's had a lot of changes, but you can still see some of the original adobe bricks used to make it um, and some of the wood uh, mud plaster rather um, under the, the whitewash here. So this is some of the original construction materials that the Castros and their workers built this place with 170 years ago. And here's an example of the newer adobe bricks uh, that our volunteers made to uh, renovate this place and to rebuild, especially after the damage from the 1989 earthquake took out a couple of the walls here. And so we had to rebuild quite a bit of it and we had to use the original adobe bricks, um, but we had to make our own.